Please do not forget to subscribe, click that bell, like, comment, and share. Start our discussion and our featured urban development technologies. Our first speaker and the project leader will be talking about sustainability in materials for urban development design. Being the Polar Technology Incorporated founder and inventor herself, she will be showcasing her innovative creation an eco friendly, lightweight, and stronger replacement for conventional hollow blocks and tile materials. Ladies and gentlemen, we welcome Dr. Ria Lisa C. Canlas. So, technology innovation. Thus, design innovation is equal to economic progress. And because of this, one was the first beneficiary and it won the grand prize called Malasakit Award given by the Design Center of the Philippines and the Department of Trade and Industry because it addressed 10 sustainable development goals of the United Nations and Polite is championing three SDGs. Number one is SDG number nine, which is about um, industry, innovation, and infrastructure. Um, sustainable development number 11 about resilient and sustainable cities and communities. And of course, SDG number 13 on climate action. All its solutions are first in the Philippines and first in the world. So if there are some stakeholders who want to participate in adapting Polite, these are the possibilities. We are looking for funder or financiers, also for joint venture for sustainable housing development projects. Example, if you're a lot owner or you're a de developer IFP to conduct joint venture, we, I can also do product mergers for identified designs, adapters, of uh, model houses in particular areas which I offer profit sharing scheme and of course I'm open to a regular for regular clients so how do I come about from R&D to a marketable product first of all because I'm a civil engineer this first my interest in innovating construction solutions I am a homegrown researcher and when I become a patent agent, that's the time I make a decision that I have to make my own product. I keep on researching until I find the right formula because my goal at that time is to replace all materials in a house using non-traditional materials up to 60%. After I found the right formulation, my next problem is how to put form so that the product will become marketable. So that's the time that I have thought of coming up with Hello Blacks. And then a friend of mine told me that if you're coming up with Hello Blacks, then practically you can come up with tiles. So the next step I did was to get adapters. So there are adapters that are ready to embrace uh, unique materials or are ready to become the first users of the products. And lastly, I'm also lucky to have an industry partner whose role is to beautify all the products that I have formulated. There are actually three hints that the product is marketable. Number one, if you sense that um, an, an investor will be interested. Second one, if you get remarkable feedback or comments from known people in the construction industry based on product demonstration and of course clients that are willing to adapt so during the whole process there are some changes in the properties of the polite products during the time when i was just experimenting on the formulation products turned out to have very remarkable mechanical properties, which may, might be useless when it comes to actual application. 
From the time of research, there are no restrictions. I'm just about formulation. But when I am entering the market, my concern now is about the cost. So I have to redesign the formula. The product needs to be optimized to be the required load for walls or for its function. The formula was adjusted. Test was again conducted. Adjustments were done by actual experimentation, experimentation that causes a lot of money or resources. But this time, when I move on to my um, pre-commercialization funding from DOST, um, I uh, happened to come, uh, I uh, adapted the finite element analysis as the shortest or the most effective way to do optimization of designs prior to actual experimentations on the laboratory. And for, for all my um, experimentations, I reached the fourth generation of my molds, the fifth generation of my product, and the fifth generation is worth the national award from the Design Center of the Philippines. Now, if you are a budding entrepreneur in the field of the construction industry, I have the following um, advice. Number one, you have to make a decision. You need to have the heart, the passion, and the persistence. Because otherwise, if you don't have all of these things, eventually you're gonna give up. After your decision, you have to think of a problem. And of course, find the solution. There are numerous number of data that are available. All you have to do is just to find those data. In fact, it helped a lot for me that I'm a patent agent to work on my invention. And you have to invest time and money that's bootstrapped. Self-funding. After that, then you've, of course, you've come to a time when you've exhausted already or your personal resources, then that's the time you have to Ask help from people, friends or relatives, but there's a lesson here. You have to be very careful about choosing the people you work with, making sure that they understand research and business. You know, deep technology such as small life needs a very long process before earning. So you got to, to, to eliminate those people who thought that, you know, running a business for one year already have a profit. This is a long process. The irony is that if you are solving a construction materials, actually you are entering a manufacturing business. The manufacturing business is the most complex and fun extensive form of business. So therefore, there are so many big challenges. You need big area, you need big machines, you have people retention and etc. So, uh, that there's no harm asking for, for help. And lastly, there's a need to build a good image. The image of the researcher, the image of the technology. This is through asking assistance from the government and joining a lot of competitions. This is a way to continuously uh, attract funders and clients to make it through. The products, should be evolving. It should mutate to cope up with the passing time. Thank you.
is waterproof, fire retardant, you cannot find in the market. A similar product that is equipped with all of these uh, properties.